Hi, Hattie here at Wex in Norwich. We've got two very special guests here today to talk to us about the new Panasonic GH4. Damien, you've had an advanced preview of the GH4. Which developments are we most excited about? I'm always interested in the idea of better image quality. Uh, the engineers told me there's a new sensor in the camera and a, a new Venus Engine 9 processor which is much faster and more powerful than the previous model. Um, new auto-focusing which is faster is always attractive as is uh, shorter shutter speed so uh, there's quite a lot to look forward to. And you Mark? The GH4 can shoot at 4K which is a fantastic achievement over the GH3 with very very fast bitrate outputs and also the ability for pros and enthusiasts to shoot in cinema style quality. We'll get more information about the video system later um, but you mentioned a new focusing system? That's right, we have a new autofocusing called DFD, or Depth from Defocus. And what that basically means is that the lens data is now built into the actual GH4 memory. So when it's focusing, it actually picks out two defocus areas. It then establishes the distance between the subject and the camera, and then Contrast AF fine-tunes the focus point to give lightning speeds of 0.07 seconds for focusing. It also allows the GH4 to achieve fast burst modes in 7.5 frames a second for auto tracking, but also 12 frames a second continuous shooting. Yeah, faster AF is um, important for me. I do a lot of street photography. <clears throat> and obviously people are walking along, um, moving around, trying to get somewhere quite quickly. And uh, I like to shoot like this and use the, the touch screen to uh, touch on the people as they're walking along. And often I'm shooting in quite low light. So the higher sensitivity of the sensor and this DFD focusing system sounds like it's going to be great for, for street photography and low light. Damien, now you've examined some sample images, what can we expect from image quality? Uh, from the images I've seen um, the, the, the Japanese engineers brought over, uh, it looks like Panasonic are going for a much more restrained uh, kind of JPEG. The, the contrast is a little bit lower, uh, the colours seem a lot more realistic. Digital images can be quite harsh looking sometimes, but the, the pictures I've seen from the GH4 seem much more smooth. Uh, they're, they're detailed and they're sharp, but they're not too sharpened. Uh, that's great if you you'd like to work in the images. I always do, um, levels and curves. And sometimes when you use the curves, the, the tones break up. But it looks like these would be um, sort of images that you can work on a lot more. It's kind of uh, halfway between a JPEG and a RAW file. And for me, that's, um, that's how I do That's what I've been wanting for a long time. The GH4 looks very similar to the GH3. What are the differences? Actually, I don't think there's much wrong with the, the layout of the GH3 at all. So I'm quite glad that Panasonic hasn't chosen to change too much on the camera. Uh, the base is still the same, so it takes the same old battery grip. And there's just a slight finger grip here on the front, which I think is going to feel a lot more secure, especially with the, the bigger uh, Noctocon lens, uh, things that are a bit heavier. just feels some more secure in the hand. Also, we have a new viewfinder. It's an OLED viewfinder, uh, good for refresh rate and colour reproduction. That's 2.36 million dot resolution. And as well as the OLED viewfinder, the eye cup is a little bit larger, so that actually gives you extra comfort when shooting. It also has a lock-in modal, so when you're out shooting and you're out in the field, you're out on location, you'll be rest assured that the modal, once locked, is not going to move out of position. Something I like about the form factor of GH4 and GH3 as well is that it's sort of slightly SLR-like, good grip, and it means when you're uh, attaching some of the, the larger lenses uh, to the camera, such as the new Noctocom, um, you've got a good grip. It's still a small system. Um, one of the great things, of course, you can have a, a 1.2 lens that is actually really quite small. It's, it's half the weight of uh, competitive ones from DSLR series cameras. Um, now, we already know that GH3 was really popular with our customers in terms of the video capabilities, but what else does the GH4 offer? As well as the 4K capabilities, the GH4 has a number of other features that will appeal to both enthusiasts and professionals. So uh, there's new to the GH4, uh, which the GH3 didn't have, is the focus peaking and also zebra pattern. So for additional fine tuning and focusing and also contrast adjustment. The GH4 is now global. So previously with the GH3 you, you had either NTSC or PAL. Now the GH4 can shoot both in NTSC and PAL. You can also shoot in MOV, so that's IPB and all intra, and also MP4 and ABC HD. This is now compatible with the new SD cards that are coming onto the market and also future SD cards that will be in development. 
There's also an addition to the JH4 range, and that's the new dock system. So basically, a system that has pro terminals, and it allows greater flexibility to those creating video. So the new docking interface has a number of different connections. That includes XLR, SDI, and also HDMI. Yeah, I know uh, streaming HDMI is really designed for the video guys, but actually I find it quite useful for shooting stills. Um, when I'm at home, I can run a cable straight to the TV, which is wonderful. You can see the pictures are shooting really big. What I find more useful than that, though, is when I'm out in the field, uh, I quite often take a field monitor with me uh, for shooting landscapes. I can plug that straight into the camera via the HDMI. And what I get is a, a, an enlarged view of what I would see on the back screen of the camera. Um, so we've got all the controls laid out on the, on the screen, as well as the ability to uh, preview exposure, preview my white balance, um, and the composition is so much easier to see when you're looking at a large picture. Mark, what's in the box? So what kits are coming? Basically, the GH4 comes in body only, and also with the 14 to 140 lens. That's the new version. Thanks to Damien and Mark for taking the time out to see us. We look forward to welcoming you to Wex Photographic for a demonstration when the GH4 hits the stores. In the meantime, check out our website or search for us on social media.